I also think it's important to understand what your enemy is. And if you want to talk about who is the most evil, who l- let me ask you a question, dear listener. How many times has the Taliban lied to you? How many wars has the Taliban lied you into? How many crazy conspiracy theories have they spun for you? How many how many tally members lie to you about masks? It's the American government that lies to us literally every time they open their mouths. I don't care, Democrat, Republican, I don't give a f- It's the American government that's consistently lying. I have no reason to distrust what this guy, the spokesman from the Taliban was saying. I have no reason to distrust that. Um, because if you look at the track records of both people, <laughs> and you guys remember this, remember when we pulled out of Syria and there was all this, uh, and now this is a completely different situation completely different historical background but remember people were saying that the kurds were about to get genocided by the turks and uh you did definitely see killing happening but it was sporadic it wasn't the genocide that everybody said was going to happen um so who knows i don't don't know but it's it 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 may be that the taliban has decided okay we need to get out of the seventh century we need our young people to want to stay here but we still want the sharia i don't think that modernism and sharia are compatible in any way shape or form but perhaps these guys are willing to give it a go we already have an example of this right when when president trump um orchestrated that ceasefire and we reported on this last year when president trump orchestrated the ceasefire the tally stopped attacking u.s soldiers they gave our they gave their word and they stopped attacking u.s soldiers but they didn't stop working we showed in the in the video last year that the tally was still working. They had done like, they had, they, there was one month when they did like 250 coordinated uh, terrorist attacks in, in a stretch of like a month. No American casualties. It was all against um, the indigenous forces. My point is simply to say, they gave us, they said, yep, we're not going to go after the US soldier. And they stuck with it. I am cautiously optimistic um, uh, about what's going on with the Taliban. Our media, they're professional liars. We know that. Fauci came on and told us not to wear masks, and he knew good and well we needed to, right? So so we've got to be very circumspect and cautious about what they're saying. They're saying, oh, the Taliban just shot this woman for not wearing a burqa, okay? I And then we see a woman and she's shot, but the narrative around how she came to be shot, we don't have any evidence of that. Now, um, I've met a couple of those guys. And they're not what you think. I'm not saying they're good people. I'm not saying that they can, you know, you'd have them over for dinner, although I did I did have dinner <laughs> with them. No hummer, I stuck for a lot. But um, they're not what you think. They really are not what you think. Um, so, and remember, there were people in the Taliban that had criticized bin Laden. Um, there, there's a real debate among Salafist Muslims about things like suicide attacks and a whole bunch of other things like this it is not what the media wants you to believe our government has lied to us look guys guys think about this you literally you literally live in a country where people will post something on facebook it'll be funny and the end they'll say Epstein didn't kill himself okay well if Epstein didn't kill himself that means all of us believe that our government executed this dude because our politicians are so corrupt that he was going to start singing like a canary and they didn't want that to happen. And all of us believe that our government was behind that. But the Taliban are liars? I don't know. So what I'm saying is just be careful. Our government has an obvious vested interest in our believing um, their narrative about the Taliban and about what's happening in Afghanistan. And I think, look, unless you see it, um, you should question it. And even if you see it, you should still probably question it if you get my meaning. In the meantime, love your neighbor, take care of each other. Middle America, we are the media. Till next time, guys.